make sure to stay until the end one of those things it's something that most people never change guys but you should change it if you check your manual and we'll explain what it is hey guys welcome back to world mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a fiat 500 from year 2008 to year 2022 if you want to know what is a vacuum leak how to find a vacuum leak stay with us we'll explain common places where you can develop vacuum leak on fiat and what to expect guys before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so uh, let's go ahead and start on it now so we'll be demonstrating here on a Fiat 500 a bar, but even if you have a different engine procedure will be very similar. What is a vacuum leak? Let's go ahead okay, to get that air filter box up. Okay, let's pick it up. So you can see guys this is the air filter box you have multiple sensors here uh, man, uh, you have map sensors you have vacuum sensors uh, you have multiple vacuum lines guys and vacuum leak is practically extra air the engine gets okay but it doesn't know about that air and that can be caused by uh, a broken line okay or line that's not connected vacuum line you see here you have two vacuum lines sometimes those plastic lines will crack uh, as well and when they crack that can develop guys okay vacuum leak easily as well so make sure the plastic lines are not uh, not cracked they don't have leaks uh, vacuum hoses here make sure that everything's good connected and it's not uh, cracked as well uh, you have uh, multiple sensors that have an o-ring that orange o-ring if it fails that can cause vacuum leak as well uh, you can see right here that's where the vacuum lines connect so follow the vacuum lines and if i see them one goes to the purge valve okay purge valve right here uh, i can cause that line okay make sure it's plugged in something else okay you will have another vacuum line okay that goes right here as well goes all the way down to the turbo so we can see multiple places to develop vacuum leak uh, check for any uh, hoses hose clamps that are loose uh, the holes sometimes they can develop leaks as well they can crack in multiple places especially even this one here if you have a turbo engine it's exposed to quite a bit of heat they can become fragile or they can have stress cracks and that can cause vacuum leaks as well uh, the brake booster usually will not cause vacuum leak if you have a brake uh, or vacuum pump because it's a separate actually a completely separate uh, circuit guys but now right here you have uh, uh, that's the uh, uh, vacuum hose that comes to the oil separator inspect the elbow here make sure that everything's good it's not cracked uh, a failing oil separator can cause vacuum leaks as well right here we have one hose from the pcv valve all the way to the intake manifold that's where you can uh, uh, check again for vacuum leaks uh, you have a gasket on the throttle body that it connects to the uh, intake manifold so go ahead check the gasket there as well because that gasket okay if it's leaking that's a vacuum leak there as well and the gaskets check the gaskets from the intake manifold to the cylinder head now something that uh, two things that most people never check guys one it could be a failing pcv valve this pcv valve if you check your manual you should change it so often let's say 60,000 miles here in the us for some models some are 40 some are 80 but uh, if that one fails that can develop if it's stuck open that can develop a vacuum leak and the purge control valve that injects the fuel vapors from the fuel tank in the intake manifold guys okay you have another hose right here inspect it as well but if that purge control valve is stuck open what can easily happen if it's stuck open that can cause vacuum leaks as well guys so multiple things can do but check all your vacuum lines one by one inspect everything even little bitty lines like that as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time